Well guys, how is she going today? So welcome to my first voiceover on this video. Just another just something I wanted to test on my power direct editing software. Seems like you can hear me a lot better if I just max out the volume. So you guys may have to adjust it a little bit on your end, but it's not much I can do on my end, so but anyways, we got the uh, color fixed up. Um, found some issues that probably are never going to be fixable, but you're going to have to keep adjusting them all the time. <clears throat> We're about to come and cultivate this north garden here. And uh, turn her over for one more time. Um, because we are probably going to seed either probably tomorrow or the next day I don't know we were gonna see today but it's a little chilly out and might wreck the seeds so <clears throat> but in other words we got the uh, cultivator fixed up for right now I'm coming here eventually you'll see me come but there's uh, really not much I can do with uh, the chains besides just keep adjusting them all the time probably need to tighten the, the tensioner but hey what are you gonna do so <clears throat> yesterday it rained we got rained out of the gardens um, I happened to uh, got all of mother's things in and of course all of my stuff was in the day before and the day before that so if we get anything done today today it will be my grandma's stuff and then this here garden uh, we got I think she said four to five plants that are supposed to be going in here but we just turned the whole thing because it's just easier instead of goof goofing off and just trying to do one row and then having to mow the rest of it so <clears throat> but yeah I was having trouble with it the last couple times um, right now I'm just lowering it down I have to pick it up that's your adjustment right there so you can make it go deeper or not so deep but I'm putting I have to pick them up all the way for like transport you know moving from one place to the next because uh, then the tines are too close to the ground and then they sculpt the crap out of everything so it's just for the best uh, before you hit hit the next area or head to the next area Razor up, <clears throat> and then when you get to wherever you're gonna work, like here, drop her down. So, kind of just uh, it is what it is. So, but this was this is going to be well the last time we use this cultivator for the year. Next time we uh, use this, use this old girl, it'll be probably. In, in fall because uh, <clears throat> we're seeding this garden now and once we seed we're going to use the little cultivator we're not going to use the big one this big one here is just it's just to break it up good for spring and fall and the bear berry trash whatnot gotta get rid of that damn trash or you're gonna have trash everywhere <laughs> Um, I do like this cultivator. Um, first, when it has its fits, it has its fits. Like I said, of it not lifting that one time. Mm. But I think that's just because the chain comes with this. Uh, the drive chain. There's two. There's well, there's a total of four, but the two um, come loose, and then the other two they usually don't do anything. But the first upper two there, they always seem to get slack in them after a few rounds um, so I didn't want them I didn't want them too loose so I tightened them but apparently they come loose again I guess I'm gonna have to uh, tighten that one bolt <clears throat> and you know to fix that problem so but surprisingly the, the I really had my doubts about this working. Not so much the cultivator, it's just, you know, the tractor is 
so big for this job. I mean, there's... If it wasn't for the big tires, this tractor would be a lot lower to the ground, but... We don't have another tractor that can do this job besides the little farm on A, or B, whatever the hell it is. But, uh, that thing is... Still sitting in its building, not running. Leaks oil like crazy. Even worse than this tractor leaks oil. But... For now, I'm just going to use this tractor. Unless we get another good used one someday. Um, you know, we'll just keep doing this. Um, it is nicer using the tractor, even though it's overkill. I can basically, if I want to make a tighter turn or, you know, not go in an area that I don't want to go in, I can pretty much just hit the left or right brake and it'll make a tight turn. Probably not ideal for the cultivator itself, but screw it. It's already got so many issues, why not to add, add another one? <laughs> but if you guys saw the video, that little video I posted on Instagram there of fixing it, that I got the part, um, you can still find those parts. That little that little metal uh, bolt, eye bolt, whatever they call it, uh, that broke a while back. Um, it was yeah, really it was only broke for about a day. I think we went the next day, so I uh, got a new one. And he said they don't make that style. I guess they make them a little bit different, which is not a huge deal. I don't really care as long as they're kind of the same thing and does the same job. I'm alright with it. But uh, I'd be damned it uh, it fits on them like a glove. And I figured out how to get to get the old one off and get the new one off, just to get the the spring part there in the vise where the bolt is hooked onto. Stick it in the vise, really tight, and then push down on the spring, and that'll open the gap up just enough to pull the old son bitch out and put the new son bitch in. So that was the first breakdown that we've had with that colorator. Um, not really much, much else I can say about it, because it is, uh, it's doing what I want it to do, and there's no complaining about it, I just wish it was hydraulic, or at least three-point. We definitely have more control over it that way, but I'm happy with this for now. It's doing what I want it to do, which is breaking up the hard pan. Um, I pretty much will have this thing set as deep as it'll go, unless you really, really went nuts on the adjustments, because you can also adjust it with the bolts in other places, so if you really wanted to get nuts, you could, but I don't know, I think this is doing alright for me. I'm not going to worry about it too much, so, but, uh, yeah, I already, uh, uh, you guys seen this video here. Well, that's going to be the end of it. I'm done using it now for a year. Um, I already unhooked it from the tractor. And put the tractor back in this little parking lot there. And I put the cultivator back in this little parking lot. But the thing we're going to do, because we're not seeding this, you know, like this. Because if you walk in this, it's like, like, it's like rock, walking on rocks. It's not very safe and is not very comfortable so because that's what happens when you use this cultivator it's breaking up the hard pan and all you do is get freaking chunks and the chunks are not fun to walk on so I'm going to let this cultivator sit for a couple of hours maybe three hours I don't know today yet and then I might go back since I don't think don't think we're going to see today I think I might go back around dinner time and smooth it out with the little colorator that I pulled behind Big Red. And all that will do is just tear up the big chunks, make them a little smaller, smooth it out, make it, you know, easier to walk on. And there you go. You know, smooth it out. Be done with it. So 
But we did get in a little bit earlier than May 15th. Um, I don't remember when we started. But today is the May, it's May 16th. So I wanted to be in at least by May 15th. Because if you don't get in within a certain time, then this is, it's all just freaking disappointing. Because it's just, you know, getting later in the year. So, but if we didn't get that cold spell, I would have been in a month ago. But that cold spell decided to pop around. So, what can you do about it? So, you can see here, she is working. Um, I'm going a little slower than I need to. I probably could have bumped it in the second gear. Um, but, you know, it, this is literally, this is really my first year using this thing. I've never really, I've, well, I've never used it. We pulled it out two, three years ago. I attempted to pull it with Big Red. You know, but since one, it's already heavy, it's a heavy unit. And then setting it to go on the ground a little bit there, it's, it's too much. Even with just one section in the ground, it's, it's too much for Big Red. So I knew a tractor would have to pull this thing and I figured, well, we could use the farm LA or the B, whatever the hell it is, but we never pulled that thing out. So I figured, well, it's got to be the 1586 then. So that's the only truck they're not doing anything around. So why not, right? Get some freaking yeast out of the sun, bitch. Sure. Overkill. It's definitely overkill. I'm not going to argue with anybody. I know it's overkill. But it's the only tractor available right now that's not doing anything. I mean... A smaller tractor. I mean, a tractor could pull it. I think even a South Saskatchewan farmer recommended a... He was talking about a John Deere 1010. Um, I think I've seen what they look like, but they're a much smaller. They technically are a garden tractor. I mean, they're they're, they're nothing compared to this. So they're just a little 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 tractor. But I think even that little 1010 would have plenty of power to pull this thing. I mean, you'd probably have to run it wide open, but it would still do it. Um. I kind of just like having, I'm getting custom to the cab tractor for this job because oh, about 90% of the times that I've been doing this freaking job with this cultivator and this tractor, it's been windy out. It's been windy and chilly. Not super cold, but it's, you know, enough that you have to wear a freaking sweater. I'm wearing a sweater. You know, if you look at you look at me there sitting on the you know my, well, when I came out there setting it, I was wearing a fucking sweater. Like, really? Where the hell is the goddamn t-shirt weather, you know? It's ticking me off. So just getting so upset about this damn weather. But I did notice one thing, I don't know if the tractor can feel this cultivator back there or not with the way it's set, but I noticed that the front tires don't like the tractor ju just just doesn't turn anymore. You know, you, you have to ride the brakes a little bit because the tire, the front tires, kind of slide, which is usually what you get when you have when you're pulling something heavy behind you. You don't have much for steering. Steering, then you have to use your brakes. So, I guess the deeper you go with it, the more power it does take on the tractor, and you know, the more you got to put down braking power to turn. So. But no problem, you know, just ride the brakes a little bit, don't turn too sharp. She does it fine. <clears throat> um, but yeah. If you guys want another version of this video without me talking, because um, I'll upload this one first. But if you guys want another one without me talking, you just want to hear the tractor run, let me know. Um, Leave it in the comment section below, and then I'll do another video just like this, or I'll just re-upload this one again um, without audio or without my voice. I mean, you know, just you just listen to the tractor roar. Then, but I know South Saskatchewan farmer, and he's always giving me crap, you know, which is fine. It's just farmer picking on a farmer, you know, that's how that goes. But I don't take anything he says seriously because. 
he's just having fun. So he says that these tractors are a piece of junk. You don't like them, but he but he has one. But when you're kind of when you're just starting off in farming, that's really all you can afford are those damn internationals. You can't afford John Deere unless you come from a you know a rich farming background. You know, or your parents are super, super, duper rich. You know, so basically, like me, I'm just starting out. I mean, I'm technically I'd be third generation farming farmer, but I'm the one that has to make any investments because we don't have proper equipment to do this. Not anymore. So we still have most of my great grandpa's equipment, but it's just so wore out. You can't do nothing with it. So. I'm barely getting this cultivator working, you know. So, I mean, that's all you can do. You know, if you're first or third and you're starting over, I'm basically just starting over again. It's just like, I'm first generation again, you know. But, this farm is going to cost a lot of money to get it back up to where it should be, but... I guess I'll do what I can. But, uh, just figured I'd give you guys a little, uh, video here to enjoy of the 1586 working here she's uh <clears throat> she's doing a pretty damn nice job I'm pretty happy with it so um, but yeah she's doing what I want her to do if I, if I need to go any deeper uh, I may have to find a used ripper I think we might have one, but it's a really old school one, and I don't know if it even has the hitch anymore, so I don't know if we could pull it, but um, you would have to rip it, or use a chisel plow or something, if you really wanted to get super duper deep, but I think this should be plenty. It's not like we're going to plant hay or anything in here ever, and if we do, well, it'll have to do. So, but yeah, so there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Just wanted to let you know that yeah, I did fix it, and we used her, and this is the last time I'm using her now for the year. I'll pull her back out this fall, and we'll put her back to work, so. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.